Hey ladies and gentlemen, how are we today? We are back again with another Megan Lee video. And you know what, though Megan Lee is a very interesting person, especially when it comes to her finances. Because when it comes to her financial situation, her priorities seem to be in very interesting places. Well, when I say inter interesting places, what I mean is that unless it's for her actual own benefit, the finances really aren't prioritized properly. For example, she's someone that earlier on in the year, she was complaining on her Instagram, uh, she was complaining on her Instagram page about how she didn't have enough financial or enough money for her to get a nanny to help her with her own son. Now, of course, within that timeline, she's also gone off and moaned about other financial situations that we have spoken about on this channel. So if you wanna go check out those previous videos, feel free, they are, up, they are part of the channel in a playlist called Megan Lee Reaction. But with that being said, though, at the same damn time, though, she's now out here house hunting. And some of the things that she says in this stream or oh, sorry, in this upload were quite interesting. And to be honest with you, I'm not too sure if I have the right polite word that I want to call it. But uh, once we get to the end, I would like you, ladies and gentlemen, to let me know what you think down below of what we can call Megan Lee in terms of her behavior, her attitude and the way she just has this audacity of madness. But of course, before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel and patron, including every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. And of course, if you want to become a member of the channel or patron, the links are down below in the description. And if you want to become a subscriber, it is the big red button, please. As and also on top of that is the notification bell and also at the same time smash the like button please to help us with our youtube algorithm but with that being said though let's not waste any more time as my eyes my hay fever is doing madness let's get into this little cheeky video clip if i do so say myself of her house tour wow. sorry house hunting tour my bad the front door wow big house this is beautiful we got a toilet in here. Love this. I mean, that kitchen's looking flawless, though, man. That's a big kitchen. Center island and all sorts. Oh, I love this. See, even though this is small, it's just nice to just be like enclosed in, yeah. you know? Exactly. It's a small backyard. I mean, you can see your neighbors, but you could put up like privacy trees or something. Lock it off. Hey, y'all. This is really yeah. cute. Isn't it cute? Yeah, this is great. This is definitely going to go quick. Oh, I know. <laughs> I mean, the cabinets seem a little dated, but what? Oh, yeah. Everything's packed up. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's a nice size garage. Yeah. This garage is a big garage. I like the shelving that they have. Yeah. There. Yeah. I like that the washer and dryer is near there, but it's not upstairs. It's Imagine fine though. It probably like seven or eight king beds. Oh my god. <laughs> nice pantry. Oh I can't wait god. to see it. Yeah. I'm obsessed with these ceilings. <gasps> these stairs are so beautiful. That closet's huge. Huge. Oh my god, this is literally so grand. I just love it. Grand, she loves it. You know, we're getting there. Uh, so cute. Oh, okay. I'm willing, I'm willing to, I'm willing to bet some double digits. Oh, yeah. Balcony, balcony up at the top, a little garden situation at the bottom. So two balconies really and truly, man. Beautiful. Yeah. One bedroom that's big. Look at this. A, an office. It's got one computer. It's got one office table and another one on the other side. Big office room. I think. I mean, look at that bathroom, man. That bathroom's got two block like sinks in it. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, huh? Think. Nice. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for me is that there's like not a second living space. Okay. So there's not a second space small for closet. a playroom or yeah. anything small like closet, that. Small backyard. Yeah, and then also not a fan of the master closet. I, I'm a very impulsive person. If I see somebody has something that I want. That's a big room though, man. Okay, I'm gonna that, right? Yeah. <laughs> now we got a shower. Another set of uh so shower, another set of thing you use, whatever you call it, sinks. Oh, oh geez, keep getting caught and everything. So we're here looking at a house right now. 
but it's a little bit smaller she's, she's than awesome. what we would like. We're going to see um, two neighborhoods with new construction. But right, let's stop right there. So the building, the house itself in particular is too small for what they would like. Okay, cool. I mean, for me personally, I think that is a badass house. But of course, I don't know what her future plans are, obviously, within the house. Of course, you've got to get a house that is a certain size. I respect that. But here's the thing, though, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So uh, you're telling me that this home is too small, which is fine. But she can still go ahead and afford to look at two other properties that are obviously potentially going to be bigger because she wants a bigger place. So here's the thing, though. So she's going to be able to afford a place. I don't know how much this place is, but it's a big place. But the fact that she wants an even bigger place means that it's more likely going to cost more money. So the thing that I find so fascinating is that uh, when it came to getting a nanny so she wouldn't have, you know, a bad mom moment, which she's had more than once, if I do so say myself. And I'm still trying to figure what she even means by bad mom moment. But uh, each time we spoke about that, people have had their own um, assumptions of what a bad mom moment actually means. Given the fact that each time it's happened, the sun has kind of turned up with a few little bruises here and there. But of course, let's not speculate. Let's just, I'm just putting out what we've seen and what she has said. But of course, she wanted to get a nanny because at the end of the day, it would have helped her out as well as helping her son out because obviously, you know, she'd have some support and therefore it would release some more st uh, stress from her, from her. But of course, with her, instead of putting in, instead of, instead of forking out that extra financial situation to get a nanny, she decided to go on IG Live and complain about it at that moment in time a few months back, okay? And then since then, she's had other issues with financial situations. But of course, when it comes to having a home, though, that is as big as however she wants it, two living rooms, apparently, as amongst other things, oh yeah, that money just comes out of nowhere. Now listen, there, are, there is rumor. Rumor has it that maybe she's just another YouTuber doing that PP loan situation. I'm not from America, so I don't really know if it's PPP, PPF. I, I, I don't know nothing about that kind of things. But what I do know is a loan's a freaking loan. So here's the thing, though. What is happening here? Where were these finances coming from, considering that she was, well, she has been complaining throughout the duration of this year about having low funds and unable to pay for this and X, Y, Z. And, but yet that she has the audacity to come out of nowhere and be like, hey guys, we're house hunting again. And this place here we've just seen, which is a freaking beaut, is too small. But of course, we will be able to find more money out of somewhere to get a property that is obviously a whole lot bigger. But listen, I could be wrong. Maybe the other properties that are bigger, they could be around the same price range. But either way though, nanny, new home. I think I know which one's more expensive. But nonetheless, though, you let me know what you're thinking, ladies and gentlemen. Am I tripping? Am I capping? Am I just moving mad? Or am I speaking some factual information here? Because the way I see it, she's preaching one thing. And has always, like I've said in every single video that I've made about her, it seems to me that if something isn't necessarily in her favor in terms of what she wants, in terms of it being a part of her actual own plan plan, seems to me anyone else's opinion is irrelevant because it has to go Meg's way and no other way. But hey, let me know what you're thinking down below, please, ladies and gentlemen. What would you call someone like this? Because this behavior to me is absolutely atrocious. Some may say she's a narcissist, but who knows? You let me know in the comment section. But with that being said, uh, hit the like button, please. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you lovely people down below. Peace.